Alright, so unboxing video today. This is a, another Revelation guitar. Um, I bought this one used, uh, £220, including shipping. It's supposed to be uh, immaculate condition, hardly used. Uh, I think they've actually stopped making this model now. They've changed it from the this is the Revelation 3.5, RT 3.5, and now they're the Revelation RT 4.5. I don't think they do this cover anymore. Um, it might have been Gibson or Epiphone trying to push their weight with uh, copyright. But so she is. Helen Blue, um, Revelation RT35, sort of based on the Epiphone um, Gibson 335. But yeah, a quick look. Um, yeah, the back's darker, sort of a darker blue. The top's definitely that Helen Blue colour. Um, she looks really nice. I've had I've had an Epiphone Dot 335 in Pelham Blue before, limited edition, and um, this actually does look pretty damn good. As they say, yeah, there's not a mark on it. It's a nice guitar. Feels right. Feels a good weight. Um, I do like the headstock on these. Looks a bit better than the Epiphone. It's sort of a little bit more like the Gibson. Um, so. These are 25 inch scale, uh, 22 frets, it's got like a binding around the edge of the neck, uh, the fingerboard. Um, yeah, it's a rosewood fingerboard, it's got sort of your modern style tuners there. It's got the set neck, um, not the belt one. Um, I noticed some of the dot ones, they have orange um, tone control knobs, but these have got sort of the, I suppose they're called the witch hat ones, the Gibson style. So it's hard tail with a tunometric bridge, it's got two humbuckers, these are Allen N Twistle Vintage HV58 style, I guess they're based on the, the Gibson ones. The three way control switch, so neck, middle, bridge. So you have a volume tone control for each pickup, so I guess these be the neck, they will be the bridge position. Put it in the middle and you can sort of combine, combine the two there. Um, it's got the F-holes, like the Gibsons. Um, it's got a little three ply pit guard there. Um, I believe these are mahogany body. It, all it says is mahogany maple body, so I presume it's mahogany Maybe it's got the maple block in the middle. I don't know if it's maple top or it's fully mahogany. I'm not really sure, but unless the specs don't really sell a lot, so if anybody knows, let me know. Um, at least my fingerboard it really does look nice, to be honest. Um, yeah, so I guess anybody that's in a Foo Fighters cover band and ain't got the five grand to buy a Gibson Trini Lopez, this would be a good alternative. I bought this used to say like for £220. I think you can still get them new, um, obviously old stock. I don't think they make them anymore. I've seen them for sort of a £300 plus mark. Um, but yeah, that's a really nice guitar. So give it a little tune up um, and I'll plug her in and let her rip. Okay, so um, I've just changed the strings on it because it was a bit flat, so I've put a set of Deodario EXL 110s on. You could probably get away with 11s because they're still quite slinky. Um, I adjusted the height on the bridge, it was a bit low, uh, set the intonation, truss rod was good as it was, so um, I'm going to play a bit of clean now, a bit of distorted through all the three different positions, so the neck, the middle position and the bridge on its own. So. This is clean, starting on the neck position.
Right, so this is the middle position with the bridge and neck pick up together. Right, so this is the bridge position on its own. Okay, so a bit of overdrive now, so this is the neck pickup on its own. So this is the middle position with neck and bridge pick up together.
Okay, so this is the bridge pickup just on its own. <laughs> Okay, so that was the Revelation RT35 in Pelham Blue. Um, if you're a fan of the Foo Fighters, you love a bit of Dave Grohl, um, you can't afford the Trini Lopez, the five grand that they are new, this is probably the guitar for you. Um, I know Epiphone do the dot version in Pelham Blue, but they're quite hard to find nowadays. So if you're a Foo Fighters cover band and you want a bit of Foo Fighters sort of vibe, this is sort of the guitar for you. The uh, Entwistle HV58 vintage pickups sound absolutely amazing. Middle, bridge, neck, whatever, they sound brilliant. Um, headstock looks the part. To me, I think it looks a bit better than the, um, the Epiphone version. But um, the tuners are okay, they're quite slack. Um, I'll probably upgrade them personally. They seem to hold tune well, but they, just, they, seem, they seem to feel quite loose when you're fine tuning. Um, so it's got plastic nut, it's got binding around the edge of the, the neck. Uh, there's no sharp frets in it at all. Um, it says they're medium jumbo frets, but to me they feel and look a bit like jumbo, so I'll probably say they're jumbo. Like I say, it's got 22 frets, rosewood fingerboard, semi-hollow body. Um, feels nice and light, but it does feel how sort of an Epiphone or Gibson does feel. I've had a few of them before, so I know this feels the part. Um, I say the two pickups are amazing. Tuna Mag Bridge, Hardtail, um, switching is all brilliant on this, well made. Uh, I like the, the Gibson style tone volume controls. Pick guard, that's probably something I'd take off personally, but that's my preference. Um, yeah, the back's a little darker, but you see the contour to the body. Front and back, really does look nice. Not a mark on it, really, really well made, I must admit. I'm starting to really love these Revelation guitars. It's the second one I've had. I had that Jazzmaster there, so at the minute I can't sort of get enough of these, but yeah. Um, I can't really fault it, to be honest. I think it sounds good. Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Um, if you're in a Foo Fighters cover band, would this be something that you're looking for? Um, or is there any other alternatives? I don't really know, to be honest. The only things I know are the, obviously the Gibson, Trini Lopez, the Dots, Epiphone. So, yeah, I paid £220 for this used. You can still get sort of old new stock for, I think they go for about £300, but there's always one or two of these knocking about on eBay. Um, or Gumtree or whatever, or anything local to you. Um, yeah, so let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Uh, which pickup sounded best? Obviously, I think Grohl mostly uses the bridge pickup. That's personally for what I use this for. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice guitar. So, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, thank you very much for watching.